going on? So I'm here in uh, Dallas at White White Wave Foods, and I just got loaded. I'm about to go slot my tandems forward, and then we're gonna head out or whatever. But before that, on on my way turning into here, there was this crazy accident that like I I almost got hit, which was kind of crazy. But this tow truck was pulling out, and this box truck was coming, and the uh, tow truck did not see the box truck coming up on my left side, and bam! I'll insert the video in here and show you. Dang! This happened right in front of me, man. Okay. Come on. Dang. And this truck right here, this is the cause of the accident right here. This guy's gone already. This is a little blood in the truck right there, but it's whatever. But yeah, this guy's gone already. But that shit was insane. But it was crazy. And then the guy that caused the accident, he, he got... I've never seen an ambulance get somewhere so quick. It was like the ambulance teleported there and then left. I was like, what the hell? But now I'm about, I gotta go slap my tandems and then we'll talk about that a little bit in a little bit. But yeah, here we go. So it's gotta come up like seven feet, about seven foot. And then we're gonna smash out. We gotta go down to uh, McClenny, Florida. Head out there and then going to the house this load i feel like this load is paying decently it's paying uh it's like three a little over three dollars it's like 330 or 320 a mile or something like that so to me that's a good rate to me that is a good rate to me it's a lot of tandems up and gauge lord, 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 lord. Uh, almost there we got a little bit more uh, this load only weighs freaking i think the paperwork says uh 34,000 pounds like shit, i'm finna haul ice that's a whole lot better than that damn 40 42 and 41,000 pounds which which is pretty much what it, like when you pull a reefer that's what you're going to be most of the time about probably like about it yep look at that i, I bought it from all the way up there i can see it I teach y'all do that one of these days I'll teach you guys how to do that one. It's actually, I have, since I have two GoPros, when I buy, I'm, I'm going to buy a tripod and I'm going to make a whole video on how to slide tandems and whatnot and how the weights work and all the 200, like each, each hole is 250 pounds and all that stuff. I'll teach you guys how to do that. But yeah, so get back in the truck and put the trailer brakes in and slide it back. Oh, uh, I call this a chopstick. I don't know what the actual name of it is. I've always called it a chopstick. Hold the chopstick down, that's your trailer brakes. And then go, you hear it click in. Like, click, click it. Yep. Click in and gauge. So yeah, now I gotta send in my message, my massages. So they'll know that I'm loaded. Let me see. Loaded. Trailer number. ET154. And now, we can take off. Hammerlang gang, cool. Hammerlang, uh, Hammerlang gang. Hmm. Some of these damn lights off. But, but yeah, man, like that wreck happened right now. You can still see the cop car down there. It's still a couple of, I don't know if you guys can see that down there, but it's still a couple of cop cars on there. That shit was crazy. Two hours, two hours. Well, it might not have been two hours. It was probably more like curb killer. But yeah, it was probably more like an hour and 15 minutes or something, but it's still insane. But you'll see in the video what that dude's on a whole horse. Riding his horse in the middle of the road. What the hell? I wonder if I hold my horn if he would like jump or something. I probably shouldn't do that. Oh, it's a couple of them. No, don't honk the horn, Derek. Let's go, though. Oh, they're getting enough. Morning. So I uh, I just woke up maybe 50 minutes ago, almost an hour ago, or something like that. And now I'm headed out to. What is that? Oh, um, now I'm headed out to DeSantis Land, also known as Florida. I, I stopped last night in uh, Louisiana, except four at the Loves. And now I'm about to take off and roll out. So let's go. I actually got to crank, I got to crank the truck up and all that stuff. So let it air up because I'm pretty sure it's completely out of air. So let's go. Let's go! Oh, 
Yeah, I did not realize how tired I was. Like a lot of times, I don't I don't realize how tired I am until I go to sleep and I wake up. When it's time for me to wake up, it's hard for me to wake up. So yeah, that's where we are with that. Full of gas, but no air. <laughs> no air, full of fuel, full of death. So, yep. So I'm put some trash in the trash can. Probably by the time I come back, it should be aired up or almost aired up. <laughs> and I'm pretty excited because. Uh, I'm getting ready to go home. Once I leave Florida, I'm gonna see if there's something. To, like I said, I think I said it yesterday, but hopefully there's something on the board that's getting me back to the house. Cause I gotta go down to Florida. Like I gotta come back down to Florida for that wedding. So that's gonna be fun. And like I said, every day, make your damn bed up. Cause when I know when I get off, when I get done driving, my bed's made up. It makes it so much easier just to go to sleep. And I also noticed that, like, I drank, uh, I drank a little bit of NyQuil last night to make sure that, like, I was asleep, I was still asleep for, like, at least six hours. I ended up sleeping for, like, close to seven and a half hours, so. Roll out, actually, I gotta get some waters out the freezer first. Got me a couple of water areas. Like I've been trying to post another, like my other video, it's it's been loading for like like two days now, man. That's annoying as hell. This is my water, some fire waters, should be good. Let's go. Lights, camera, two miles to get to seventy mile an hour. Break and gauge. I feel like it's jerking. I feel like something's like jerking. I want to race one. Like I raced one of those in my in my Mustang, a 392, and I walked them pretty hard. I want to race another one because that guy, I don't think that guy knew how to drive because I saw the wheel, like when I when I accelerated, I looked over at his car and he was accelerating too because like you can see the wheel gap, the, the, the space between the tire and the bottom of the fender, it was, ex, it, it was expanding and I was pulling on him pretty good. So yeah, I want to race another one, probably with someone with like exhaust on it or whatnot, just to see Trying to turn, come up, cut over. Okay, he's just, he's gonna turn left down there. It's just, oh, dang. I, I don't know if it's coming through on video as bad it is as, I don't think it's coming through as clearly because of how it bounces. Like, I, I can't find the right words to use. My brain ain't working yet. But yeah, this shit is just, ugh. All right, so we're about to cross over into Florida right now. The ag station is in one mile. This, like, I literally, we, at, when you're pulling a reefer, you literally have to stop at every ag station. Even if you're not, even if you're not pulling like flowers and shit, you still got to, you still have to stop at those shits, man. It sucks. And all they're gonna do is tell you, keep on going. Like the Florida state line right here, it's can be a county. Florida welcomes you. Florida, Florida. I guarantee that shit give me the red light. You hear it? See? Red light and gauge. Egg station open. I'm running out late night. Yep. 
up, they're gonna be like, what you got? And I'm gonna be like, I forgot. What do I have? What is this shit? It is. I think it's chicken tenders. Yeah, we're gonna go with chicken tenders. Yep, we're gonna go with chicken tenders. Or just say chicken. <laughs> Look at that crotch rocket. <laughs> Please stop at the window. Engage. Yep. Yeah, give me a thumbs up. See, when you have a uh, produce and shit, they want it. They got to check all that stuff. Like they're checking the broccoli in that one. Nah, checking the broccoli over there. It's a nice truck though. That's a new 680. Shit looks good, man. But yeah. I wonder if I'm gonna have to stop at the weigh station up here. Cause I'm underweight. Like, I'm, I think I'm right at maybe, I don't know, fuck, I forgot. It's like probably 65, 70,000 pounds or something. But it's not heavy. Right now, late night. Let's see what kids are talking about. Give me a second. What's going on? So, uh, stopped last night. I stopped at exit 130 over here in Florida on I 10 to get my oil changed and whatnot. But this freaking love like their equipment's down, so they haven't been able to do oil changes all week long. It's my, my fault, but it is what it is. I should have called before I came here. I could have went down to the TA, but I just didn't feel like driving anymore last night because I was just tired, you know. So, right now, I think I'm about two and a half, three hours away from my delivery over here in McClaney, Florida. So yeah, I got my Loves coffee right here, which Loves is tripping right now because their their equipment's not working, and two, they freaking they don't have any French vanilla creamer. So Loves, get y'all shit together, man. So we're about to take off and hammer down east eastbound. Let's go. Okay, so I'm pulling into the Walmart DC over here in McClaney, Florida, and let's see how long it takes for them to unload me. I'm gonna go in here and try the whole. Oh shit, like, my delivery appointment is at 1.15, but I'm gonna try to hold freaking, uh, you know, maybe they'll unload me soon if I'm like, damn, I thought my appointment was at 12. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes from here. Which lane do I need to be in? Right lane, blah, 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 blah. I don't know, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But let's see, let's see what they are talking about. I'll pick y'all up when I come back from checking in. Maybe they're gonna take take me in early. Maybe not. I don't know. That guy, he just took my paperwork. Maybe he's gonna. Uh, maybe they maybe they're gonna let me unload early. Only, only we we're literally about to find out. Like however long it takes for them to come back out with my paperwork. All right, you have a one fifteen. Uh huh. You can't do anything till twelve o'clock because shit. no one's in there yet. Oh shit! All right. It's the very first wave of second shift. Okay, so I gotta wait till twelve to come check in. Yeah, kill thirty five minutes, man. All right. I'll be able to get you in. All right, appreciate uh, it. I want to promise you, you, but you should be all right parking on that road right there for 30 minutes. Uh -huh. It says no parking on it, so I do suggest if you do park out there, face this way so you can see if the cops are coming and you start giving <laughs> off. All right, all right. can I just wait right here in the driveway? No, because I have drops coming in. Okay. So they can actually still come in because they're just dropping and hooking and leaving. Okay. This uh, guy right here is about to be leaving. He's just, he's sadly in the wrong spot and he's trying to figure out where he's supposed to be going. <laughs> all right. All right, I'll be back. All right, so I came in, I got the, I got unloaded. Now I'm connected back up to my chair. I'm about to roll out and then head to the house because I'm, I've am i been on the road for like two weeks now, going on three weeks or some shit. A long fucking time. So let's look up this trailer and roll out. Roll out.
that's why I love having a manual because you can connect a trailer so smoothly like that. And I noticed that like I didn't, uh, I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but I didn't, I normally like, I'll stop like back here, I'll, I'll leave my trailer like back here, but I dropped this trailer so I knew that I wouldn't jump the fifth wheel. So don't beat me up in the comments about how I do that because I dropped this trailer. But yeah, so. A bad one. Bam, wham, bam. Thanks, your ma'am. Turn reefer off. Then I'm gonna burn all the fuel. And I'm gonna gas smash up 75 so fast. I'm gonna go so fast, it's gonna make fast look not fast. And then my empty call on the shot the doors. But you gotta leave one door open. So they can so the security people can look in the back. <sighs> this job is mine. Burning calories. Walking back and two and two and back. All right, what's going on, man? Uh, which one do you need? I the blue one right there, man. Okay. Everything else will be yours. Have a good day, uh, dude. Please be safe. All right, now, brother. You don't got to check the back? Uh, all right. Oh, shit. Left the door open for nothing. Caused myself to have to do more damn walking. But I guess that means more calories burnt. It's a terrible habit of leaving the door open. That's how bug. That's how bugs get in you. I got down here to Florida, delivered. Now I'm about to go home. So like, subscribe, and comment below, and I'll see y'all on the next one.